So Los, I know you've been doing radio for a minute, you know, basically on hip hop, culture, music, fashion, the whole nine. And this is your first introduction to YouTube, so just explain to everybody what made you want to do the crossover and what made you start? Like what you know what I mean? Oh shit, man. I'm starting I started out back in like 97, 98, Lang City High School, shout out. Um, I started out with my boy Manny, and, uh, doing the radio station transition from there after doing that to stop the radio to DJ and to owning my own business and now I got this YouTube deal and uh, you know what I mean, I'm just sitting here trying to blow up talent in South Jersey and uh, in the meantime do my world cast from different locations within the US and then on to the world and I kind of, you know, sit within that, be within that uh, that state, you know, my world cast. So, you know what I mean, I'm starting here and then I'm moving out. But um, yeah, the bug started in 97, 98 when I was playing CDs at a local high school. So, you know what I mean? like. That's me. Okay, because I know, just just doing my research, I know you got your family, your lineage, even goes back to music. So yeah, like, yeah absolutely. I know my, 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 you know, my music has always been in the crib. My dad used to own a nightclub. Uh, Wonder Gardens here in AC, I met a lot of rappers, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, act, a lot of, a lot of acts within the music industry. And, uh, you know, it's always been there for years, so, like, it always carried in and out. My mom used to always play a lot of, play a lot of music on Sunday when she cleaned. And uh, so I always had a love, an addiction to music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm always constantly, constantly getting music. Like, uh -huh. you know what I mean? That's like, that's just my thing. Cause like, it's just you know, I'm saying you, you know, you've been around hip hop for a minute. Not saying you're an expert or a connoisseur, but you know what you're talking about. You know? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm always researching. Yeah. So like, looking from the past to the present, not too many artists are still relevant. Nah. Okay. Now looking at artists that have been relevant in the past and have transcended into the future. We got artists like, you know, Jay-Z. Yeah. Wearing a skirt. Uh, not good. You know, I know this is an interview, but just express your feelings that. towards that. You well, know? I think like this, the leaders in hip hop like this, like like hip hop is masculine. You know, um, I understand the whole, the, the, the gay uprising and saying, hey, we're here now, you know, we're batting down those doors, but I feel as though hey, people like a Jay-Z who can have 25 million people knocking on Samsung's door to download Magna Carta and Holy Grail, whoever has a galaxy to get that free album, it was a huge, huge uh, 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 torch holding within hip hop. And somebody like him breaks down barriers and doors like that. But when I see somebody like Hove in a skirt, and you're the general, and you're the, you're the captain, uh, it's, it's kind of like a letdown. Of so course. Like, like Hove, Jeans, T, all that's good. It's like seeing your dad cry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, your dad cry. But no, like, like I take it like this. A whole is supposed to be like a James Dean for hip hop. White T, jeans, leather jacket, timeless. You dig? Yeah. So when you see somebody in a um, skirt, you're like, hold up. If this is not part of like, yeah, we, you know, know, certain cultures have men in skirts and there's nothing wrong with that. I don't look down upon that. That's history. I'm not greater than history, nor is my opinion. So when I see somebody like Hove, are you listening to your 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 uh, 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 um, style advisor, mm -hmm. or are you listening to yourself? Like me, I'm gonna always be in T jeans, denim, stuff like that that I can look back on 25 years and not look at this. I look at this like a dark era in hip hop, yeah. like the skirt era. This is what it is, the skirt era. You know what I mean? Like so. Um, I don't want to ever look back on this period of hip hop like we look back on the hammer pants. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be, you don't want to be that dude. Okay, that was so, just, that's it. We're just covering several aspects right now. Let's just go over, leave New York and go to Chirac real quick. Chirac. Okay. Man. Praying for them, man. Okay. Um, basically, it's just a bunch of kids leading kids. It's full of violence, but the culture is so, so powerful right now. Our culture is crazy, man. It's redefining hip hop as we know it. Trap music has gotten top artists like Adriana Grande, who did a joint with Mac Miller, kind of in, in the essence of what Mariah used to do to what Beyonce is doing in Drunk in Love. And, you're... and then the heavy 808. And um, trap music has really taken over, and it really does extend from Atlanta, the South, Florida, you know what I mean, the Bible Belt. But, um, Chirac is Chicago, which is the youth that are third generation crack epidemic babies where the father wasn't in the household and the mother was on drugs. And basically it's boys raising boys. So you have a, uh, a hip hop guy like Chief Keef, whom is looked upon as the matriarch, the one that 
is end, end all be all. You know what I mean? And you got cats like Rondo number nine who are holding up rocket launchers. Like, rocket launchers, big. <laughs> like, who's doing that? You know what I mean? And they wind up catching him in the end, but whatever. Like, I pray for Chirac, you know what I'm saying? Nicki Minaj got the new track out that's fire. Um, but, Chirac, man, hold my God. I, I don't even know where to, where to begin. But I know one thing, like, it needs to get hopeful at some point. You know what I'm saying? Because it's so detrimental. You got all this talent out there. I, I see boys. Rappers like Chance, though. It, it that's a rapper. Little hope. Acid Rap, shout out Chance the Rapper, Acid Rap. Super solid mixtape. Right. Right. Number solid. one. It's the number one mixtape, apparently. Number one mixtape. So, you know, people are crazy about it right now. You know what I mean? Um, what else? But, you know, also, like, Transcendent from Chicago that has so much influence to this area because Chicago influences this area. We got people trying to be one of be cheap South Jersey around here. Like South Jersey is influenced by everything, man. Be it trap, be it New York music, be it nineties. But the question is, where do you see the future of South Jersey music going? Because right now I feel like South Jersey doesn't have a leader. South Jersey doesn't have the one person you can go to and say, yo. That's the dude from South Jersey that's leading this charge in a certain sound. So I challenge South Jersey to 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 bake that, not uh, uh, to create that person who can be like, yo, I fucks with him right here. Like this dude right here is the sound of South Jersey. We don't have that yet. And if it is, correct me if I'm wrong. No, I'm only an opinionated, great personality. You feel me? Like so, South Jersey really.